Well, they're actually searching all the way from Paxton in Arlita all the way through the city of Los Angeles after L.A. City Fire tells us they received a report of a six-year-old boy in the L.A. River. And you can take a look right now. Firefighters standing by. They've thrown uh, a buoy. It's sort of a timer buoy that tells them exactly how fast the water is moving and where possibly if anyone in, is in the water, where they could be. Now, we don't know if that's the buoy going by right now. We see something white in the water right now. They are standing by to get a time on that. That will help them establish exactly where anyone would be. Now, the source of the report of the six-year-old boy in the water, unclear right now. It apparently is based on a 911 call. It all started on Paxton in, our, in Arlita. And you can see firefighters. They're watching the river on both sides of Laurel Canyon. Laurel Canyon is shut down here at Moore Park for firefighter safety, of course. You see them on the uh, east side, on the west side also just searching. And they're telling me they're going to search the entire width of the L.A. River. So right now, firefighters are deploying to the south part of the city. They're going to cover this. We see some firefighters walking away right now, unclear if they think that if somebody was in the water, it had already passed. But again, L.A. City Fire receiving a report of a six-year-old boy in the water, the L.A. River. Earlier, that river was moving at an estimated eight miles per hour, which may not sound like a lot to you, but it is very fast when it comes to moving water. It's a story we're going to continue covering right here on Good Day L.A. For now, I'm Gigi Gracia live. We'll send it back to you. Wow. Uh, certainly not uh, the news we wanted to get this morning, Gigi. Uh, of course, keeping a very close eye on this developing story. Just my heart is just like... I know. I know. When it comes oh. to kids, right?